Hello guys, and it's time to analyze the upcoming Miami Open 2024 final between Dimitrov and Sinner. It's going to be a great final following Dimitrov and Sinner's big wins over Zverev and Medvedev respectively. I'm not sure who I'm going to predict. Let's have a look at what Reddit has to say in regards to the match. Of course, we've been waiting for Dimitrov to be playing at this level for a very long time and it's finally happening. Glad to witness it. Damn, I love Sinner, blah, blah, blah. My heart says Grigor, mine says Sinner. Of course, Sinner is going to be the favorite, but Dimitrov is in arguably Korea best form. I'm rolling with Dimitrov. I want to see him win, and I honestly believe he will win. Sinner's playing some great tennis, but Dimitrov's playing even better tennis. Peak Sinner has arrived. It's hard to say Dimitrov is playing better tennis when Sinner just won 6 1 6 2. But over the course of the tournament, I have appreciated Dimitrov's level of play to a higher level than Sinner, but the semi-final performance was better, you can say, by Sinner. These metrics proved that. This is the best performance rating of the season so far. Wow, it really was. It was an amazing performance. I'm being quite uh, harsh on, on Sinner. Racket, and I saw that as well. Racket was so hot, he had to call it down. On the change of breaks or whatever, uh, Sinner put one of his rackets next to the fan because the handle bar, the handle bar, the handle of the racket was getting really sweaty and hot, so he had to cool down the grip. And it's not even his final form, of course. It's not the final yet. We'll see how he goes in the final against Dimitrov. But when you beat Medvedev like that, that seems to be ominous. Another post here talking about how Dimitrov has entered the top 10 in slot ranking number 9 as the one-hander backhand is back in the top 10 after an absence following, I believe, a period of at least a decade. It might have even been even more. It might have been a period of several decades. So I have to look that up after. But it didn't take long for it to come back. And Sitsipas was not wrong. Sitsipas is talking about the absence of a one-hand backhand. There we go, for the first time ever. So not more than just a decade like, ever about the one-handed backhand and how it's the now the first time ever that there's no one inside the top 10 with the one-handed backhand. How do you see the future of the one-handed backhand? I'll just tell you, wait 30 weeks and he'll be back. And he was right, but it wasn't him. It was Grigor Dimitrov. And of course, all Greeks are given the power by prophecy Apollo. It is known. The prophet has spoken. The Oracle Earl Delphi. Of course, Reddit is a funny place to look at some sports related commentary and and in this case r slash tennis i recommend checking it out it is a funny place to look up some tennis and it's arguably better than looking at twitter or x now free promotion for reddit and google dimitrov's perspective on why he is better in this era than the 2010s back then the 2010s i had to play against for me the best guys i have ever played on tour I mean the first top 10 guys, and from 10 to 20, I mean it was scandalous tennis. You had to play amazing tennis at times to beat them. And to be able to sustain that, that you had to be three times fitter. Again, I'm not complaining I played in that era. I loved it. I would never give it up for anything. If someone says, oh, you get more titles, whatever, no, no, no. I'm very, very happy because the experience that I gathered throughout the years and playing against these guys, my God. Honestly, after that, nothing can scare you. Of course, Dimitrov, he could have won some slams. Maybe he can this year. Who knows? If he didn't play in the same era as Nadal, Federer, Djokovic, Wawrinka, Murray, and whoever else. But you know what? He might be better for it. And now, perhaps in this later phase of his career, he can really play some great tennis and pull out some big title wins starting in the Miami Open final. So what do you guys think? Who's going to win between Sinner and Dimitrov in the 2024 Miami Open Final? This is a bit of a fun video, just looking at some interesting and funny Reddit posts. And we'll see. I predict Dimitrov, but I wouldn't be surprised if Sinner plays like he did in the semi-final and Sinner walks away with his third title of the year. If he does so, he'll be number two in the world. Number one, meanwhile, is chilling, practicing on the beach. Not at the moment, but he was on the beach pretty recently in Miami. And the clay season is upon us. But for now, Let's watch this final and see what happens.